Hey there! Today I'm showing you some more watercolor ideas for your sketchbook. So, well, I'm back again. <laughs> and uh, I took another short break, but I'll hopefully be back for good now. And I'll probably move my upload day from Saturday to Sunday. So it's Sunday at night. It's almost Monday here, <laughs> but I'm here and I'm here with another vid video. And the first idea that I have for you is these old cassette tapes. Let me know in the comments down below if you used to own some of these. Because I'm a millennial and I did grow up with these. I had a view of these and I had my childhood stories on them. Like, I don't know, they're, they were about animals and I don't know, some weird child stories. I don't know. <laughs> and I listened to them over and over again on my tiny little radio. So let me know in the comments down below what generation you are and if you still know those or maybe you're older than me and this was all there was at the time you were, I don't know, a teenager or something. So I changed up the colors of, of all of those. While I'm really not used to talking in English anymore. I really have to get used to creating videos again. <laughs> um, I changed the colors of those and um, customized them and I simplified the designs because I wanted it to have this cute watercolor look. It's still very detailed because I feel like I really like those kind of illustrations where you, they have this illustrative look so you can clearly tell that uh, that it's an illustration obviously and it was done with watercolors and a brush but they still have a lot of detail so kind of both things at a time but not realistic and I used my huge brush for all of this because I didn't want to go too detailed and when I have a smaller brush I tend to do that and so very often I will use this brush it's a Da Vinci Casaneo brush but here when I did the details I used a smaller brush which unfortunately I can't tell you the name because it's just they sell it at a local store if you live in Austria or Germany or if they have Müller where you live, you'll get it there. But other than that, you'll probably not find this brush. So um, it's called Vernissage, I think. Vernissage. So I don't know. And yeah, I did some different cassettes and colors. And if you're a beginner at art and this looks too complicated to you, just break everything down into simple shapes. You can see that I started off with a rectangle and then I did one around that one and so on and so forth. So I really simplified everything and it's way easier than it might look. I don't know if it looks easy or not. And it really doesn't matter if you make a mistake because there are millions of different kinds of cassette tapes and it's a very illustrative style so nobody's gonna point out little mistakes. And then <laughs> here's my hamster. Hello there. Because everything was drying and I used the time to play with my hamster. But what I wanted to say before this cutie appeared on screen is that I put some of those tapes there to fill in the blank spaces because I didn't want to paint any more of the cassettes. And it doesn't really look like tape. It looks like random weird swirls. <laughs> I don't know. But it's okay, I mean, it's a sketchbook, it's here to make mistakes in and 
I can live with it and that's the page now so <laughs> I like it anyways and then I used the page on the left because I'm left-handed it's a very good idea for me to start with the right page even though I don't always remember it <laughs> but this time I was smart and started with the right page because if it's not completely dry what I've done on the left it's very dumb for me to paint on the right side I put my hand into my paintings a lot of the time <laughs> not gonna lie so here I'm painting different types of umbrellas I did not look at reference pictures because I was like oh my god it's just umbrellas Everyone knows what those look like. I'm just gonna wing it. And you can totally tell that I did that here. It looks, I don't know, a little bit weird. But it's okay. Let's just call it style again. And say that I simplified everything. So I, I still kind of like it. And I added a lot of details and patterns in later which is a very good tactic so here I'm doing some dots and some stripes and whatever I came up with I ran out of patterns and then just put random blobs on there <laughs> yeah but I was really just getting back into watercolors because I haven't used them in well over a month now. So I'm still getting kind of back and also into filming videos, which is why I only have three ideas, ideas this time and not five. I usually do five ideas. If you haven't seen my other video, I really can't talk today. If you haven't seen my other videos, <laughs> then I'm gonna link my playlist with sketchbook and art journal ideas. And this time I only did three because I really, I have to get back into filming. I kind of, I, I kind of lost my mojo. <laughs> I don't know. And um, prob my next videos will probably be a little bit messy like this one. And I'll just have to get back into it and be okay with the fact that they're not, they're mi they might not be as good because I just have to get back into it. I don't know why I'm so um, out of, how do you say that in English? You can see that my English has gotten worse within just one and a half months or something, maybe two months, and I I can't talk in English anymore. Oh, that's heartbreaking because I thought that I was at a point where I didn't get any worse anymore. So I really have to stop ranting about this because in a month or something I'm gonna be back to normal and everything's gonna be okay uh, let me know in the comments down below how you're spending your holidays it's Christmas coming up at the time that I'm posting this video and then New Year's Eve afterwards obviously let me know how you spend those holidays usually I'm gonna uh, see my parents on the 24th and we're gonna eat dinner and probably listen to music that's not Christmas related at all because we don't really like Christmas songs too much uh, yeah it's gonna be a fun time and I'm gonna have I'm gonna spend a lot of time with my friends and gonna celebrate New Year's Eve and that's gonna be a lot of fun as well. I'm gonna have people over at my new apartment and I'm so excited and you're probably not at all interested in all of that. So now I'm putting some black outlines um, to, to make the umbrellas pop a little bit more and as you can see I did 
some fun background, whatever. I just did what was in my mind and doodled stuff and I didn't want to do anything too complicated. And this page that I'm doing right now, it really doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> because the idea was to um, put some garments on those lines that you put them to dry. I don't know what that's called. And it works really well with socks. It does not, however, work with... Um, other clothes when they're on coat hangers because who the hell puts their clothes on coat hangers and then put those on those I don't know what those strings are called and it, it, it just doesn't make any sense but that's the way I painted it and it's fun anyway so I think it's okay. You can do it just with socks. I've seen it. People have painted just socks on those strings to dry their clothes on. <laughs> it's so annoying that my English is worse now. And yeah, uh, you can see me adding those coat hangers now. Yeah. Then I added in a few patterns again, which is basically what I've been doing for all of those paintings. Just adding a few little details to make them look just a little bit more sophisticated. And that's the last page. I really hope that you liked this video. I wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!